If you're neither strong or well-armed, like this tiny pearl fish, you'll need to get creative when it comes to looking for shelter. Perhaps set your sights slightly stranger. Enter the sea cucumber. Known as the vacuum cleaners of the sea, they move along the seabed, sucking in sand at one end and then expelling it out of the other. And it's this bizarre creature that has the solution to the pearl fish's accommodation problem. To find out more, we need a marine biologist. Pearlfish, they're, they're little fish. They're quite vulnerable simply because coral reefs are full of hungry predators. You mostly would only see them out and about at night time where they go out hunting for plankton, the little creatures that live in the water column. And then during the day, they need to find somewhere to hide. Well, all of that sounds fairly sensible. But where does the sea cucumber come in? So sea cucumbers have basically a hole at the front uh, end and the back end. The front end is where the food goes in and all sorts of things happen at that back end. Um, it's where they breathe, it's where they will excrete the sand that they've been eating, any other kind of digestive material will come out. And that's it's also where they reproduce. So it's a kind of one hole does many things. And therein lies the clue, because the pearl fish makes its cosy home inside the sea cucumber's bottom. It has to be one of nature's weirdest living arrangements. But is this honestly the best real estate available to the pearl fish? Well, if you can imagine those sandy areas next to a coral reef, there's really nowhere to hide. It's just flat sand. There aren't many rocks or any other holes or crevices to hide in. But there are sea cucumbers. Maybe, but whilst the pearl fish may have set its sights on a potential home, entry isn't always guaranteed. If a sea cucumber does have an idea that maybe there's a pearl fish around, it might close up its bottom, and so for a little while it won't be open for, for guests. If I knew there was a pearl fish around, I'd be closing my bottom too. But the resourceful fish has a solution to this problem. By sticking the tip of its tail into the sea cucumber's rear end. The pearl fish cuts off its oxygen supply, knowing that the sea cucumber will have to open up to breathe eventually, and when it does, it's home sweet home. 